we have in our body a very small, small member that we use every single day. It says that it is like a, a wheel that guides a ship in the ocean. <coughs> Depending how we use it, it can bring to us a good destiny or a wrong destiny. If we want to arrive to the port that we wish, we want to use this member in our life, in our body, in order to proclaim, in order to say, in order to confess, in order to have victory concerning the things that we are fighting every single day. There is no weapon that can beat us. There is nothing that can destroy us. I remember a beautiful story in the Bible where Jesus Christ is coming into Jerusalem. He has a little bit of hunger and he gets close to this tree to see if there was anything to eat from the tree. Unfortunately, there was nothing. But I believe that here is a tremendous teaching in Mark 11. Because Jesus Christ, he cursed the tree. It says, nobody ever again eat from you. And then he walks. But everybody who was around him, they listened to his words. He went to Jerusalem. He spent the afternoon, the day, the night. And the following day, they leave Jerusalem and they pass by in the same place where was this tree. But one of the followers of Jesus named Peter, he says, Look, Master, the tree that you curse has withered, 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 and its roots is dry. He said, Everything you say, everything you pronounce, everything that you utter, anything that you confess, anything that you say will come to pass. You will receive it. So nowadays that we are facing difficult times, we want to use this member of our body to curse the wrong things that are taking place and to place the right things that we expect because we eat from the fruit of our lips, it says the prophet Isaiah. Life and death are, it says King Solomon. So we want to use this member in order to proclaim, to pronounce, to be like an herald of the things that we're facing. I am facing great, great things here today. I live in Italy. I cannot leave my town. I cannot go to Florence. I cannot work. I cannot do what I want to do. And from the beginning, I have cursed this situation that came from China. And from the beginning, I continue to believe and I destroy this thing. It's dried. I curse it. Yes, I do. Why? Because this thing, I don't tolerate it. I don't, I don't accept it. One time, Jesus Christ was in a boat. Great winds came by. A tempest arise. The disciples are scared. They think they are going to die. And they are in this boat throwing water away. And Jesus sleep. They wake him up. Hey, are you not afraid that we are going to die? He stands up. He looks to the wings and to the sea. And he rebukes them and commands them to be still. In a matter of seconds, minutes maybe, 
a great peace was in the lake. And people were amazed. And he responded, you don't have faith? Faith, the conviction, the certainty that those things that we said, they are a fact. Faith is the facts that we say, that we pronounce, that we utter, that we believe in. So I myself am fighting, I'm fighting, but I want to make my faith work. So I have to say those things, believe those things, confess those things, to proclaim those things in order to receive what I say. So I'm using this member of my body. I am more than victorious in Jesus Christ. I am healthy. I am prosper. I will fulfill my destiny. I will do the work of God. My family has healing in their lives. We are more than conqueror. There is no weapon that prosper against me. With God, I am majority. I am a princess. I am a royal priesthood. I am a royal nation. I am victorious. I am above and not below. If God is with me, who can be against me? David, when he fought the giant, Goliath, in his face, he says, I will defeat you. I will defeat you and I will give your body to the bears of the air. Let us use words of victory. We need to be very careful. Careful, careful with the words we say. Because the words are like seeds that we plant in our lives. And we will harvest what we said. So I'm not depressed. I'm not sick. I am not poor. I am a head and not a tail. We want to use our words because we will reap what we sow. And please forgive me for not making a video in the last week, but they give me a yellow card and they did not allow me to continue to use these means to have freedom of speech. So please share my videos with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. Support me as much as you can. Until next time.